Ever since 1998, Halloween Town has been a staple for Halloween on Disney Channel. Having been born in 1998, I don't know Halloween without Halloween Town. I loved his tales of good versus evil, magic, monsters, and the Cromwell witches. The Cromwell witches are remembered to be some of the most powerful witches the world has ever seen, and their legacy continues to grow every Halloween. But how did they gain such a respected reputation? Hello, I'm Isaac from Watso Videos, where we discuss fun topics for fun people, and today let's push away Gwen's doubts on Halloween Town and focus on the legacy of the Cromwell Witches. One reason the Cromwell Witches are so well known is because they have existed for such a large amount of time. The oldest Cromwell Witch currently in existence is Agatha Cromwell, who explains they have existed. This is the dawn of time. The Cromwells have been Mother. the most powerful. Agatha alone has existed for over a thousand years since she was present at the original celebration of Halloween Town, which was later celebrated 1,000 years later in Return to Halloween Town. But she could have existed for even longer than that. In the original Halloween Town, she discusses the times before humans and monsters needed to be separated into other worlds, and she frequently describes the humans as mortals. As mortals see, mortals do suggesting she, the Cromwells, and other magical beings may be immortal. The Cromwell line of witches has continued their lineage since the beginning of time. Not only are they one of the longest lines of witches, but they also possess the deepest knowledge on magic. Living for this length of time has allowed Agatha to record spells for hundreds of years. Eggie admits she even has spells from the dark times, like the monster transformation spell, which was banned for its cruelty. Some of the knowledge the Cromwells possess isn't even legal in Halloween Town, showing how powerful and limited their knowledge truly is. In addition to the many spells Agatha has found and recorded, she also includes many of her own secret spells. Marnie explains, See, there are common spells that every witch knows. And then there are the really secret ones that are only known to the witch who made them up. You can't say for sure if all Cromwells have a knack for developing magic. We're looking at you, Gwen. Now that works just like magic. But Aggie even mentioned some of the magic she has developed. This is witch's brew. It's a little recipe that I picked up in the 6th century. The Cromwell knowledge base is deeper and more powerful than any other witch or warlock clan, which is why wielders of darkness like Cal have to go after Agatha's spellbooks if they hope to use some of the most powerful magic. The Cromwell witches have spent their time acquiring massive amounts of information on the magic they wield, which is some of the most, if not the most, powerful magic the world has ever seen. When casting spells together, we have seen them do some truly wonderful deeds. When up against some of the most powerful dark wielders like Cal and Calabar, the Cromwells are able to come together to snuff out the darkness in Halloween Town. In addition, the Cromwells are unwilling to stay separated. In Halloween Town 2, when the Cromwells are separated between the mortal world and Halloween Town, they are able to come together and open a door between them, a task that was widely believed to be impossible. No, it's impossible! The Cromwells also have a legacy of crafting some of the most powerful items. Long ago, even before Aggie's time, the Cromwells were the ones who created a magical item that became known as the Gift an amulet that was created by three Cromwells that had the power to control any being. The Cromwells have a long and consistent history, breaking the laws that seem to govern over magic. Now, being an ancient wise clan of witches with very powerful magic is impressive in and of itself, but I don't think it's the reason the Cromwells have such a grand legacy. I mean, Agatha is a Cromwell witch, but she is also a relative to the very powerful warlock Merlin. Was your father Merlin? No. Marvin, Merlin's cousin. Agatha does possess the talisman that was used by Merlin himself to end the Dark Ages in the human world. Showing her paternal heritage is still very important to her and comes with advantage in magical ability. So why is the current Cromwell clan not remembered as being a relative to Merlin? It's because to the citizens of Halloween Town, the Cromwells are the guardian of Halloween Town. Let me explain. Agatha tells her grandchildren long ago. There was a time when humans and monsters and witches and vampires and all the rest of us could be together. But then everything. 
everything went sour. It was a bad mix because humans feared us and tried to destroy us. So we did our best to make them miserable in return. But it was turning us evil, which we are not. Human organizations like the Knights of the Dagger tormented creatures and were trying to purge the world of anyone who was non-human. The Halloween Town Council even suggests, I doubt that even you are a match for the Knights. Their mission in life was to destroy all things magical. In response to these terrible groups, witches and magical creatures would make humans' lives miserable using spells like the Monster Transformation spell. But Aggie and others agreed that this was not a solution. Agatha Cromwell, who was going by her first name Splendora, and others decided to create our own world. Through the combined power of the Cromwells and other witches and warlocks, they created a new realm which would be known as Halloween Town, a place where creatures could live in peace and find their place in the world. Aggie was at the forefront of this movement and because of her prestigious title as Cromwell, the members of Halloween Town declare her as her queen, which would be initiated by the Dominion. With the Cromwell gift and the backing of the members of Halloween Town and the Dominion, Splendora could have easily ruled all creatures in Halloween Town. However, Splendora locked away the gift and buried it deep below Cromwell Castle, giving the key to her 21st century time traveling granddaughter, Marnie Piper. This left the Dominion without a way to conquer Halloween Town and with the ability to set up a new form of government. A mayor was put in place for election to watch over Halloween Town, and a council was set up to watch over both worlds. And as for Cromwell Castle, Agatha gave that to Halloween Town to be transformed into Witch University so she could just live as another citizen. Even when the Cromwells are tempted with power over others, they turn it away and instead help their people. Cromwells are impossible. Everywhere the Cromwells go, they stick out their necks to protect their people. But it's not just creatures. They also protect humans. With Marnie and her siblings being half-human, they see it as their responsibility to protect their original home and unify the realms once again. In an attempt to bring Halloween Town and the mortal realm together again, Marnie is willing to stick by her accidental betting of her family's magic in hopes of continuing the Halloween Town exchange program. Which is difficult when the Halloween Town Council makes cruel remarks at her. Listen, you little halfling! Just because your father was a wretched human! Right. Humans never change! Order! But through it all, the Cromwells stay strong. By sticking to what they believe in, in this case, Marnie was able to expose a Dominion member in the Halloween Town Council and allow the door between the realms to remain open. The Cromwells are a clan of witches that have been around since the beginning of time and have acquired a wealth of knowledge on magic. They are some of the most powerful beings to have ever existed, and when paired together, they cannot be stopped. But the most important aspect of their legacy is not their power, but their ability to turn away from temptation from power and deals. By standing up for those who could not, and defending their people from all dark forces that come their way, the Cromwells are remembered as heroes of both realms. So now it's time for the question of the day, sponsored by my patrons. What is your favorite Halloween Town movie? I personally think the original Halloween Town was a classic that could not be topped. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section, along with any other ideas you have for future Discovering Disney episodes. With Halloween approaching, I have created and am planning a lot of fun and spooky videos, so if you'd like to stay up to date with new magical videos, then click that subscribe button and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. To see more Watso videos, then check out some awesome pics over there. And as always, thanks for watching, and Happy Halloween!